Hey there, Wizarding World. Anna and Mortensia here. So, I thought I'd talk about how wedding stuff is going because I haven't I haven't said anything since after I got engaged back in March. Um, everything's going really well. Um, we will be getting married on November first, two thousand and twenty. So we have well over a year. We have our venue. It is beautiful and glorious and just, oh, I'm super excited about it. It's this cute little lodge and you can rent it out and, uh, I mean, they do weddings, but like you can also rent it and stay like the night before and the night after and it sleeps up to like 12 people. So we'll have space for Zach's parents and my parents and my sister. And yeah, and honestly, those are the only people coming to our wedding. That's it. And I'm sharing with this with you guys because I want everyone to know that it's okay to not spend a million dollars on your wedding. It's okay. You know, your wedding is supposed to be what you want and it shouldn't be what anyone else wants and you shouldn't have to bend what you're doing to appease other people. So we, yeah, we decided to keep it really, really small, and it's literally just our parents and my sister. Zach's an only child, so we only got one sibling in attendance because that's all that there is. We have the venue. Uh, we have the date. I have my photographer, although I need to book that down officially, and yes, but it's one of my good friends who I've worked with many a times. He's incredible. He does amazing photography, and I'm super excited that he is going to be doing my wedding as long as nothing else has gone on crazy. Um, yeah. Um, we have a theme, kind of. We're doing like an enchanted magical creature kind of-ish wedding since, you know, Zach's not a huge Harry Potter nut. So, yeah. Uh, he loves his magical creatures. He loves dragons. Uh, one of my friends from college offered to sculpt um, a cake topper for us, which I wasn't going to have a cake topper. And then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, this is cute. If it's a dragon and the Niffler and they're snuggled together cause, cause it's us. Cause I'm a Niffler and Zach's a dragon. And yeah. So uh, she's gonna sculpt that uh, as like a wedding gift to us so I'm super excited. Uh, I have a friend who works at a bakery and she's gonna be doing our cake. And um, I'm gonna be wearing Zach's mom's dress. Although it will not look the same. And it's a really cute T-length dress. Um, kind of 90s-ish. Uh, I'm taking a bunch of stuff off of it. I'm altering it. And I'm adding a whole bunch of things to it. So it's going to look completely different than what it looks like now. It's still going to be the same basis of a T-length dress. And it's going to be really cute. I'm adding flowers because it's a magical enchanted wedding. So I'm thinking very like earthy and you know just very like boho-y yeah so like flowers and stuff um and speaking of flowers molly is chewing on the fake flowers hobby lobby has really good floral selection and they had their florals 50 percent off this week so i went to hobby lobby and got flowers and i kind of started crafting and i'll show you my bouquet is not finished yet, but this is it so far. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hold it like that. And I've just got all these beautiful flowers. Our colors are plum and midnight blue. If you notice, there isn't any midnight blue in this bouquet. So I bought some little tiny craft butterflies and I'm going to paint them. I'm going to paint them midnight blue and paint pretty little details on them. And then they're going to be sat throughout here to give it little touches of midnight blue. And then, uh, so yeah, that's not done. And I'm not done with all the little boutonnieres and stuff yet, but uh, I started making those and I want all of them to be different from each other, but all still the same color scheme and things. And one of them just lost their leaves because Ugh, life. And then two, I will glue that in. I've been trying to wire everything and like, yeah, but I might have to glue a few things. 
Uh, so yeah, I've got a bunch of cute little boutonnieres, and if you notice, they have the midnight blue in them, because I do have midnight blue flowers, I just couldn't figure out how to get them into my bouquet without me feeling like they look weird. So I've got a couple more of those to make when I have some time. Other than that, I have been busy, busy, busy. I have been working on some wig commissions. Uh, one of my friends wrote a one-woman show and she's starring in it, so I've been working on her wig that she hired me to do. And then my friend David McCarthy, some of you might know him, I'll put his Instagram down in the description. He's amazing, he does incredible princess gowns and cosplays and he's just, he's incredible with the work that he does. He is going to be doing Dream Finder from the original Figment Ride and I did tracing of his beard and, uh, or his face and I'm gonna build a custom beard for him for that. So I need to get moving on that. Um, I'm almost done with my friend's wig and then I can crank out his beard that should hopefully move faster than the wig because it's not as much space and the hair is shorter um, but yeah so I've been doing that and then I'm sure you see her in the background I've recently discovered well I always knew people did doll repaints where like they take off the faces and they pull out the hair and they replug the hair and give them new hair and like completely redo them and give them new clothes and everything but like I've recently discovered do with like monster high dolls and there was still named people do such cool things with them so um i won a doll lot on ebay where i got like a box full of like 24 dolls that have all been used before and uh yeah so i'm uh, trying my hand at that and uh i want to redo her face i don't like it but I love her hair with what I've done with her. Now she's not one of the opposable ones but uh yeah um and I need to make her clothes. She is one of the newer dolls because she's not she's not so opposable. She moves her arms and legs and that's about it. And yeah I that that's her face. I it will be gone and I think I'm gonna redo it because I'm not happy with it. Yeah I'm not happy with it. I can do better than that. But yeah, she's super cute and I really like her so far. And book-wise, I usually don't have time to sit down and read books, which is a shame because I love to read. But uh, one of my tech friends at work, he has been telling me and telling me and telling me to read the Iron Druid Chronicles for ages now. And normally I have a hard time getting into book series if it's not Harry Potter. <laughs> Ding. Um, but so I finally, I finally went ahead and I got the first book on Audible because I can listen to the books while I work on things or while I drive and I enjoy doing that. And the cats are playing with the plastic bag that has the flowers. Um, so I got the first book and I devoured it and I am now on book five? I think I'm on book five now. I've just been flying through them. I've had all my Audible credits been building up over time, and now I'm like down to zero Audible credits. <laughs> so now I've got to wait a whole month before I get another one. Luckily, I just got the next book, and I have the whole thing to hopefully take my time reading. Um, these books are so good, and the voice actor that reads them does such a good job doing all of the different accents it's incredible if you are looking for something really fun to read that has to do with like magic and druids and like different gods and and things like that um it's really fun it's a really great read i'm obsessed with it and then little did i find out that one of my actors at work he's obsessed with it so like now i have two people that i get to talk about it with and it's great so yeah that's what's been going on and uh, that's our wedding stuff so far. So we've got a date, we've got a venue, got a photographer, got our cake person, uh, making the flowers, have my dress, need to change my dress, but I'm also not gonna do that till later in case I uh, get smaller, cause you know, I'm gonna take care of myself and get in really good shape. Yeah, so yeah, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. Really excited about stuff. I need to finish my wigs. Tonight we have friends coming over to play D and D, and I'm super excited. So we're gonna have fun tonight. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you liked this quick little update about what's going on in life. And if you liked it, please click like, subscribe, click that bell for notifications, leave me a comment down below what you think, and I hope you guys had a great day.